every three weeks, I, I, I get into a mood of, I just want to chop all my hair off. I'm tired of it. I'm tired. I'm tired. Hey guys, Erica Lasson of Live Rich Mommy here, and today I am talking hair. It's coming up on a week since I've ended my loose natural journey and I have started my locking process. Um, I've just been playing in my hair, though it's like the same hair I've always had. For some reason, it just like feels like we're gonna have more of a connection in the months to come. In making the decision to lock my hair, I decided that I was gonna take you guys along on the journey with me. So that will include, um, not weekly, but monthly updates for sure. And I don't know, if you guys are following me on Instagram, at then um, you'll probably be seeing a lot of the progress throughout the weeks as well. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna stop talking and I am going to show you guys what happened to the weeks leading up to this part of my natural hair journey. Yeah. Okay. I kid you not, this happens to me every single time I wash my hair. Prior to washing my hair today, I wanted to chop it all off or lock it. Yesterday, I spent an entire day researching dreadlocks. How to install them, how to maintain them, how to wash them, how to dry them, how to put them in, how to part them, everything. And I was dead set on getting locks. And then I washed my hair, not even conditioned yet. And then I'm like, hmm, I kind of like you. But then a week later, I'm like, I hate you. So right now, oh, I think I gotta rinse this part. I'm definitely still twisting this today. Now I'm about to put condition in. Like, it's so pretty. It is very pretty. It's just be working my nerves. <sighs> I'm tired of doing my hair. Point blank, period. It's been about eight years since I've been a complete natural. I, I did like extensions, weaves, all that stuff. And then I came back from a study abroad program one summer and I just cut all of my hair off for about two years and I loved it. So um, I figured at some point later in life I would want to start my lock journey, but I think that later in life is right now. Initially I thought I wanted to do sister locks, but after doing all that research and realizing what I personally want for myself as far as aesthetics, I realized sister locks wasn't it. So what I'm going to be doing is starting um, with two strand twists. I'm going to attempt to do about 200 twists on myself. but. I don't know, all of this is an experiment and we'll see what happens. I wanted to start this off with this little introduction and also to remember this, this moment of love and ending on a good note. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> I'm officially locked up, I won't let them out. I won't let them out. A week ago I decided I'm getting these locks. They're going in my head. And here they are. Alas. This is what Jennifer at the Natural Hair Studio gave me in Orange, New Jersey. I've been going to them for years to get my trim. And now the lock turn begins. So excited. Look at this. Look at this. Flipping. Moving. And grooving. And doing. What is doing? Look at this. So much bounce. Um, after seeing these twists and how nice and cute they are, for a quick second, I was like, maybe I don't want to knock my hair. Maybe I just want to twist it every three months and let it get like aged looking and then retwist it. But I don't know. I really want to try this out and see how it goes because I've definitely been feeling to do this for a while and also I just don't like doing my hair, so. <laughs> so now that you guys have seen that, I kind of want to talk a little bit about what I've experienced in the weeks since starting this journey. Um, one, I've definitely experienced peace of mind in my life, just knowing that this is the path that I'm choosing and just knowing that I don't really have to dibble and dabble in my hair too much. Um, I just felt like an, a, a like immense sense of peace. Like even like the way that it falls. There's like a little flip over situation that's happening. I mean, it could just be in my head and who knows how it'll actually end up falling at the end because it really does kind of become different 
as the journey progresses so we'll see what happens but for now I'm really excited and I'm really loving it and in this I feel like it's also leaving me more creative room to maybe even do more stuff with Aria's hair now because I'm not always thinking about like oh I gotta wash and do my hair oh I gotta wash and do her hair um, now I can kind of get a little more creative with her hair and more often because right now I really have to be in the mood to want to do her hair um, things that I'm worried about um, are probably like washing it and maintaining it um, because I have started a workout regimen this uh, this year for 2019 and I'm working out my fitness this year like it's a non-negotiable and um, my scalp even though it's just about to hit a week is already starting to feel like really itchy <laughs> and I really am not supposed to wash my hair for at least a month but I don't really know how that's gonna work out I read somewhere that witch hazel may do something but yeah so many people like this hair it's, it's like kind of crazy like for example yesterday I walked into a pizza shop and this girl like walks in and literally stops and is like oh my goodness I love your hair Oh, thanks. She was like, you look fabulous. And I was like, thank you. And then she was like, fab coat, fab hair, fab outfit. And I was like, oh, what is this? I'll take it. All right, so I am kind of rambling. But long story short, it seems like a lot of people are really feeling the twist. So I'm wondering if they'll feel the lots just as much once they start to come in. I wonder if I'll be treated differently or if things will be seen differently. I'm sure that there will be a lot to share in the weeks and months to come. So, um, and also just like, experiences. Uh, I'm going to toss it back to you guys. If you guys have any questions in the meantime, please leave them in the comments below or send them to me through a DM or email or online or Facebook. Like there are so many ways. Uh, <laughs> pick one, choose one and send it on through. But yeah, that's it. Here's to trying new things and getting uncomfortable in 2019. Yay! Okay, until the next time guys, bye, live rich and happy dream chasing. <laughs>